Hi, this is Ushio, and this is Antenna Dilemma, which is a new game, which isn't out yet. I think it's out on the 24th of April. I'll leave a link in the description, and you can check that out if you like the look of this game. So a little while ago, I played Inspector Waffles, which is like a, a point and click. It's kind of quirky, kind of fun. And the developer got in touch saying, we have a new game. Do you want to check it out? And I'm like, yes, please. So here we are. This is a new game. Let's do it. Only one hour to go till Should I Open the Box comes on. Man, I love that show. Okay, so we're like this cube person and we're watching TV. Alright, cool. But there's nothing else on right now. What's all this rubbish? Unboxing stuff, think outside the box, commercials. Seriously, who still watches Keeping Up with the Square Dashians? I've got 200 TV channels on this thing and there's still nothing on. Come on, there must be something. What, what the fuck? What was this? Oh, the TV's gone wrong. I can't miss my favourite show. I've never missed a single episode. Okay, the TV blew up. I like how my mouse is a square. Everything's square. No, no diagonals. Everything's square. It's fine. This is a disaster though. The TV's gone. Okay, here we go. Chapter 1. Square Eyes. Okay, don't panic. What's the procedure? Procedure 4P23.1 and I take care of it myself. Okay. Or procedure 3P12.7 and I call the emergency services. I don't remember what it is. Mm, maybe there's a clue hidden somewhere around the TV. Okay, let's explore. So there's a TV, a black box picture, a phone, the neighbourhood. Okay, you're not going outside just yet. Boxes. Okay, so boxes seems to be the central theme. Let's check out these boxes. It's my personal collection of cubes. Light grey, mid grey and dark grey. All the colours of the rainbow. <laughs> it's a symbol of my support for the way the dice governs our town. Alright, so... About the picture. This is an old picture of my parents. C321234 and C352345. I should visit them more often, but there's so much good stuff on TV I never find the time. Okay, let's check out the TV. Nothing but static. I bet the antenna's been damaged. I need to get it fixed. Okay, check out the drawer. All my old videotapes are in here. Oh, and some cash. Stuck between Raiders of the Lost Box and the Square Minator. Okay, let's bring this with. I might need some money to get my TV repaired. Alright, so we have got a bill. Okay, check out the black box. This little black box gives everyone so many channels to watch on TV. And it's totally free. The dice gives them away to everyone. Man, our leader is such a wonderful person. On the front side of the box, there's a small label. In the event of an emergency, call 2102. Alright. 2102. Hello, hello. You've reached the Television Emergency Support Service. How can I help? Yo, this is C432632. Um, listen, can you help me? Quick, it's an emergency. My television's not working and there's less than an hour until my favourite show starts. Oh wow, that sounds like a damaged antenna. This is a real emergency. Will you be able to get to your local TV retail store and back in time? Uh, yeah, it's just down the street. Just head down there and ask them to perform an F4.23. They'll know what to do. Do I need to make a note of this? F4.23. Let's see if I can remember. If no one's there, you can borrow an antenna without leaving an excuse note, according to Government Order 4Y2.9. Okay, thanks for your help. I'm going right away. Okay, so we got to get our TV fixed and we need to leave and go check stuff out. Oh, sticky notes. What's this? A brand new pack of sticky notes. These will come in handy if I need to write something down later. Can I write? No, I can't write anything down. Okay. Is there anything to do? No, I think that's it. So we need to get our TV fixed. It seems like it's the kind of society where everybody has to watch the TV. And this is life. Alright, I can relate. Let's go outside. Everything very grey. Oh, is that, is that a tree? I don't know what kind of tree this is. I'm pretty sure it's not a box tree though. Alright, it's got all birds and stuff in it. So that's my house. That's the shops of this way. A pizza advert. Advert for Papa C371856's Pizzeria. They really do make great pizza. Call 7499 for the best pizza in town. Oh, 7499 for pizza. My favourite is the pizza Squarinara. It's so good and it's even better at home. Paired with a good TV show. I'm so lucky to have a billboard in front of my house. Oh, wow. 
There's the neighbor's house. Antennas. Oh, I can grab that if I need it. Let's try the... Oh, he's got some security cameras up as well. An intercom? I don't want to talk to the neighbors. Let's go to the shops. So what we got? It's the grocery store, vending machine, a bin, a TV store. Okay, TV store. Let's get this TV fixed. Hello, anybody around who can help? Oh, the place is deserted. Well, aside from this box turtle, I guess he's guarding the shop. Oh, well, I'm on my own. I need to find a way to watch TV anyway. It's a box turtle vigilante. All right, TVs, cash register. What else? Remotes? Procedure? A cap? A cap? I can't reach it, the box turtle is in the way. Okay, let's talk to the box turtle. He's... wow, he sounds angry. I bet he hasn't been fed yet today. Maybe if I get him some food, he'll let me go buy her. Okay, what about the TVs? That's a pretty good discount. I should get one, just as soon as I've saved up some money. And got the antenna fixed, of course. Alright, cashier. We don't have any robberies around here. Shops feel so safe that they don't even bother with putting any security on the cash registers. There's some spare change here, but I'm not a thief, so I'm going to leave it behind. Alright, so we're not going to rob the shop. We need to get this thing food. Or shall we just snap off the neighbor's antenna? There's a grocery shop here. I come here to get my shop in. It's closed at the moment. I'm on my TV break right now, so come back in an hour. I can't blame the guy. It is a good excuse. Alright, so everybody... Everybody watching TV. Vending machine. It's totally tapped out. All the chips, soda and candy have already been taken. All that's left is one measly salad. Who buys salad from a vending machine anyway? Alright. I mean, there is an antenna here. Got a TV ad. Antennas. A chips ad. Customs. Alright. Let's check out these antennas. The dice does so much for us. This whole town was built to allow us to watch TV in peace. Yeah, this is such a it's a such a bizarre kind of um society being set up here. But it's broken panel, what's this? This billboard has fallen over. According to the law S3.45, you can take anything lying on the ground, provided no one else is interested in taking it. Wow. So how do I make sure that nobody else is interested? Well, there's no one else here. Hello? Anybody want this metal bar I've found? No one? Okay, mine. Okay, we have got a metal bar. What about this ad? C452311, an absolute megastar. They call him the TV King because he sold thousands of TVs in his life. I'm usually not a fan of celebrities, but he does seem like a nice guy. Every year, he does a huge giveaway, donating televisions to the poor. Alright, so we've got an iron bar. We probably need some food. Or we could ask the neighbour. Oh, check out the mailbox. No mail today. I'm still waiting for this month's issue of Esquire magazine to arrive. Alright, let's, let's talk to the neighbours. Hello? Who are you? And what do you want? You better have a damn good reason to be disturbing me when I'm trying to watch TV. Okay, it's your neighbour. Listen, my TV's broke. I just need to get onto the roof to fix it. But I need to go through your house to get up there. How do I know you're not a thief? Do you have any documents or anything? I bet you're not even the licensed technician. Uh, I'm not trying to rob you, but no, I don't have any documents. Please, just hear me out. Sorry, but no one gets into my house without the appropriate paperwork. Bye. Oh, okay. I better find a way to get him to believe I'm a te technician then. We need the hat from the shop. I remember. Hmm. But everything... Can we use the metal bar on the vending machine? No, no legal reason to break this machine. Okay. What about money and get that snack? This vending machine only takes coins. Oh, shit. Okay, TV store. So maybe if I swap the bill with the cash, it will be the same amount when it's not technically stealing. According to Cubelaw, 4G 5.6, you can swap two things whenever you need to, provided they have the same intrinsic value. Wow, I can't believe I still remember all the laws I learned in elementary school. Okay, I'm doing the exchange, so I should probably explain everything to the owner. On an excuse note though. Okay, so let's sticky note on there. According to Cube Law 5 oh, 4G 5.6 are these numbers. I've switched my cash with some of your coins. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I'm within my rights. Kind regards, 
C4326.32. All right, cool. We've left the note. It's all good. Now we have coins. Square coins, are they? Square coins, good. Now we can get snacks. I've got just enough money to get this salad. One coin, two coins, three coins, four, and one salad. Hey, the machine ate my money. Well, the machine stole from me. I guess it's only fair that I steered it back. All right, metal bar, smash it. The vending machine stole my money. According to the law, to F3.9, if someone steals something from you, you can steal it back, no matter the cost. Well, looks like it's going to cost this machine a window. And that was kind of a bad thing to have done, destroying a vending machine and just to get a piece of salad. I should leave an excuse note. Really? Okay, we're very honest. I'm sorry for breaking the vending machine window, but it stole money from me. According to the cube law 2F3.9, I can do anything within my power to steal it back. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I'm within my rights. Kind regards, C4326.32. Alright, got it. TV store, now I've got salad. I can feed this, yeah, the box turtle. Salad, eat this. Take the salad, come on, turtles like salad, I think. Yeah, he's eating it, good boy. We're friends now, right? Okay, so I want, what do I want? The remotes? Wow, they've got the new remote controls. These are amazing. With one of these babies, you can take phone calls without having to get up from your sofa. That's the dream. All right, cool. About the procedure. Okay, so this is the procedure for fixing antennas. So all I have to do is say this. According to the law 8N3.2, I require access to your roof to fix a broken antenna. People have to let me in their house if I say that. Well, it would be so easy for a technician to rob someone. Okay, and a cap. This is a technician's cap. Only a licensed technician can wear one of these. If I wear it, my neighbour might be fooled into thinking that I'm a technician. Well, maybe I should work for the dais. I feel powerful in this thing. Okay, so we have a cap. Which is kind of cool. Hmm. Oh, paused it. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, some colour in the game. Alright, let's keep going. Let's go outside. So hopefully now we can check out the neighbour's place, get our TV fixed, and get back to watching TV. Okay, so cap intercom? Hello? According to law 8N3.2, I require access to your roof to fix a broken antenna. I'm sorry, but you haven't booked a meeting with me. I know my rights, and according to cube law 5F3.2, you have to inform me by phone before attempting to enter my house. Bye. Wow, what a jerk. Okay, neighbour's house. My neighbours won't let me get in easily. What's this phone number? We could ring him. Okay, so my antenna is wrecked. I've got to fix that thing. This mailbox. Better not look inside. It's illegal, according to law F4.23. Don't do anything bad. Wait, what about law F8.23? If I do something bad, we'll allow you to watch a TV show on time. Then you can do it, provided an excuse note is left at the scene of the crime. Okay, I guess it's okay then. Okay, so it's a confirmation letter for a delivery. My neighbour's phone number is written here though. 4534. Okay, I need to write an excuse note before doing anything else. Alright, sticky note. I'm sorry for opening your mail. It was an emergency. According to the cube law F8.23, I can do anything within my power to make my TV work again. Getting hold of your personal information is vital for me to get my TV fixed. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I'm within my rights. Kind of regards. C432632. Wait, what was the phone number again? I've forgotten. 4534. Alright, back home. This phone. 4534. Hello? According to law 8N3.2, I require access to your roof to fix a broken antenna. Uh, right now? Yes, now. Okay, come over. I'll be waiting for you. Bye. Okay, he hung up on me. What a nice guy. He's a bit of a dickhead. Alright, let's check out this neighbour. Is he outside? Nope. Hey, a quinter law, I require access to your roof. You're not a licensed technician. You're not wearing the official cap. Oh, I forgot to bring it with me. Well, you're not coming in here without one. Okay, cap. Hey, here we go. Let's try this again. Let me check. Okay, looks good. Come on in. We've got the hat on. Please don't take too long. I don't want to miss my favourite show. All right, let's go in. Excuse the intrusion. Hey, I'm the technician you spoke to earlier. I just need to... 
Yeah, yeah, I know who you are. Just be quick about it. Sure, no problem. I better move fast. My show's going to be starting soon. Okay. Ooh, statue. What's this? A statue of an old knight from the War of Independence. A couple of centuries ago, we fought against the others. In the end, we drove them out. A few we left alive fled into the mountains. Apparently, their descendants still remain there now. I heard they don't even have TVs. Their lives must be so boring. Okay, we need to get to the roof. Maybe this guy will kick us out. We can't even talk to him. So, balcony. Let's go. So, oh, we're up on the balcony. Cool. So, there is a gap. There's a gap between the two roofs. It's way too far to me to jump. I mean, does the metal bar work? It's too short to make a bridge. Okay, it would work better with something longer. Okay, so I need something. Let's go back inside. Maybe there's something we can use. So what is this? A perfect cube. Oh, it's a perfect cube. What a great way to honour the dice. I'd love to add it to my own collection. How much must a cube this nice cost? Being rich has some perks. Okay, so this is a, a posher house. So, books. I don't know any of these authors. Okay, so C4829? I thought she was an actress. I actually don't read. I prefer to watch TV. Oh, I've, not, I've noticed, yeah. Oh, that's not true. Sometimes I read the TV guide as well. But we need something so we can... Oh, what's in the drawer? According to the cube law, 9G7.2. I can't look into other people's drawers if the other person is in the same room. But there is an exception if the other person is not paying attention. Do I leave an excuse now or not? I don't remember, but I don't want to make a mistake. I don't have time to check the law, so I need to write one. He's transfixed by the television, so let's have a look. Just some stationery, erasers, pens, paper. A keychain with a character wearing square pants. Oh, so the this piece of paper has something written on it. Four numbers, 2676. Okay. Okay, excuse note. 2676 though. Hey, dear neighbour. According to the law, I can look into your drawers provided you're not looking. Okay, I didn't need to do it to fix my antenna, but to be honest, I was just curious. I don't remember if I have to write an excuse note for that. But I did put my hands into your clean clothes. As a result, I felt I should do one. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I'm within my rights. Kind regards me. Alright. So... 2676. Let's go phone that. 2676. So what does that do? 2676. Hello, hello. Welcome to the cube, love. Oh, you must be 18 on over to continue. Press 1 if you want to hear about perfect steamy right angles. Press 2 if you like to hear about hot curvy sides. Wow, it's not what I was expecting. My neighbour really doesn't seem the type to be into corn stuff. Okay, so we just found a, an adult hotline. So, okay, we are making progress. I think that I can take a break now. So, in the next video, I need to get this antenna fixed so I can watch TV. I need to find something long so I can bridge this gap, get my TV working, and hopefully the world will be good again. But for now, this is Usho signing off, and hopefully I will see you next time.